Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. <clears throat> In the last episode, we finished the cursed, terrible, god-awful place of, uh, I almost called it Cloud Cuckoo Land, uh, Rainbow Ride, and we've collected every star in the game aside from just one. So, with our 119 stars, let us head our way towards the very top of the castle to the final confrontation with Bowser. That would have been really cool if I landed that. Welcome to Bowser in the Sky, the final Bowser level of the game, as well as probably the most difficult one to conquer. Now then, like obviously with the previous two Bowser missions, there are going to be some coins for us to collect. More specifically, eight red coins. <sighs> Off to a great start! <laughs> All right, well, that's, you know, to be expected at some points. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Now, is this level difficult? Um, fully depends on who you're asking. Um, for me, depends. <laughs> because unlike uh, Bowser in the Fire Sea and more akin to Bowser in the Dark World, um, there are going to be endless bits for you to jump down. All right, let me actually try doing it like this. There we go. Yeah, first red coin obviously already being a bit of annoying to catch. We got some... Okay, this I never understood. Mario's able to run up these platforms perfectly fine just by running up them. But there's no explanation as to why he can do that, nor why it's possible, but he just does it. There's no human explanation as to why that's possible. It's just, it's just this. A tiny little piranha plant here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, second red coin there. Uh, the next red coin is down below here. Uh, right here on this very precarious ledge. There we go. Nothing on the other side. As well as a one-up. There are, like the previous levels, uh, quite a bit of one-ups. In fact, I never brought this up. Um, in Bowser in the Dark World, if you go back and do it again, there are actually quite a bit of one-ups. And, surprisingly, a Womp. We haven't seen these guys since the Fortress. And we're still gonna ignore him because he's not all that important. Oh, boy. Um, nope, that didn't work. God, okay, that's not going to be possible for us right now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the thing that I usually do when I'm playing this level. Because going that way is pointless, to say the least. Because it's just, it's just an annoying spot to go through. What you got to do is just go here. Do a backwards uh, flip, and you just passed all of that stuff. Completely pointless to do it normally, so just do it that way, because it's really not worth it. Unless you want to find a Womp and a Truckia, then don't bother going that way. Up the Lego ramp we go, because it looks exactly like Lego, with like the little studs and stuff. Another coin right here. We're already halfway done, and we're making good progress so far. Let's try to keep it up. Another piranha plant there. And now for a strange moving platform. And another red coin that's up there, unfortunately. Ooh, there we go. Now, if you're a tricky enough jumper, you're actually able to jump on uh, and do a little angle off of that platform right there to grab onto the pole and pretty much skip this portion. Whoop, nope, go back. You can pretty much skip this portion of the level just by doing a tricky jump up to that pole there. But since I'm going for all the red coins, Robbie's going to be going up here normally. Jump into here. Wait for the platform to come over here just because I think it's safe. There we go. Oh boy. And now for some tricky platforming with these rotating platforms. I think the easiest way to do it is just do a backflip like so. There we go. And we've pretty much made the home stretch. This final location with a bunch of wind blowing down on us. And right behind it is our final red coin and the last star for us to collect. Now let us simply do a backflip. Jump up here. Just behind the pipe. And there we go. That is every star in the game collected. 120. We've done it. Now then, on to our final battle with our eternal rival. <clears throat> oh. 
Mario, you again. Well, that's just fine. I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls. And you'll never see the princess again. Bra ha ha ha. Bowser for the final battle. I think it's final Koopa. Or just final Bowser ba Bowser for this. Is probably the more difficult of the fights. It's probably the most difficult fight you're going to do in the entire game. Now then. Simple enough. It's another Bowser fight. However, there are, there are some downsides to this fight. Not only whenever he jumps, he will send off a shockwave, but his fire breath has also been upgraded. Do not allow him to breathe the fire breath because it is just going to be the most annoying thing ever. Instead of breathing forwards or a little fireball towards you, he's going to breathe upwards and send pretty much a rain of fire. Of course, I suck at aiming, so this is going to take forever. Uh, the rain of fire will not only produce red flames, it will also produce blue flames, which will bounce around the arena and be very, very annoying. Aside from that, I think he still has the running attack. I don't think he can warp around anymore. Come on. Come on. There we go! And he takes more than one hit this time. We gotta hit him a total for a three total of three times. And each, after the second hit, it's gonna be a bit more tricky to do so. There we go! And once the second hit is down, you might have noticed he took a piece of the arena away once he jumped back up, and he's going to be getting rid of the rest of the arena. Oh boy. And, as we can see, he's formed the arena into a star, which is going to make him a lot more tricky to hit a bomb, because, unfortunately, all the bombs are in the gaps. So this you're going to have to make a perfect shot, otherwise this is not going to go well in the slightest. Let's see if we can do so. Just like that. Ah, oh, just barely missed it. We're too far away. Should have tried that one. Oh, there he goes with the fire. Okay, this could prove to be a problem. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh god, this is actually getting pretty intense. Good lord. Come on. Okay, are we close to a bomb? We are. Okay, let's try to shoot for this one. Alright, come on. Okay. Is that it? Yes! <clears throat> no! You've really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops, worthless. They've turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing. There were some in the castle that I missed. Now I see peace returning to the world. Ooh, I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that <laughs> left stick smoking. <laughs> Not the control stick. It's the left stick now. Okay. I didn't know they changed that part. All right. And there we go. With Bowser's defeat, he has dropped the Grand Star. <laughs> is restored to the castle.
and it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. That is Super Mario 64. <sighs> this game... Man, this game. This is probably one of the first video games I ever played. The first official video game I ever played was LEGO Racers. Then my dad brought out... Uh, we had a... It was on our computer. <clears throat> and there was a time where our computer wasn't working. Um, and then my dad brought out his Nintendo 64. On that, he had... Like, Mario Kart 64... Mario Golf, um, a few other games, as well as this game, Super Mario 64. This game is its just a, a, a great experience. It's a must-play for anybody who's a fan of 3D platforming or just Mario games in general, and it's just a revolutionary game. It was one of the first, if not the first, I'm still not sure about that, I'm 100% sure on that, uh, 3D platformer, and it made such an amazing um, breakthrough, really. This inspired so many other games, such as Banjo-Kazooie and so many other platformers. Like, It's insane how much of an influence this game made for the gaming generation, I should say. And it obviously shows because this game is just fantastic. It's, you know, not the greatest in some places here and there. The last two levels obviously being kind of a pain in the major ass. But this is still a really good game. And the thing is, the best thing about it, you don't even really need to 100% it. If you just want to go for 70 stars, that is very easily, to, very easy to do. And you can pretty much get that done before you even... <laughs> Before you fight, like, the second Bowser fight, it's very easy to do so because there's just so many stars you can collect. I would say that they should have increased the star count a bit more for the requirements for the final level, but if you just want to beat the game, then it's, you know, obvious that they did it that way. But yeah, this game is just, yeah. It's been re-released, like, a thousand times or something like that, but it's still a great game. There's no reason not to play this game by any means whatsoever. Um, and this song is fantastic. I love this grad scene. It's probably one of the best in the series. Yeah, there's really not much else to say about this game other than just how fantastic it is. There are still some things we need. There's like one little thing we need to do, and probably another thing because, well, it's not really all that important. But you know, it's good to show it off at least. Oh. <laughs> And there we have it. Did they make it so that we can get out of this? Or... Nope, we gotta restart the game. <laughs> Good old N64 days. Okay, I'll cut away. Actually, you know what? Ignore this. Do -do -do. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, yep, 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 it's that. yep, okay. Let's go. Yep, to that, to here, okay. Hopefully it did save, otherwise it's going to be very disappointing for me. <laughs> we can actually show off the menu, since, you know, this was kind of a weird thing to do back in the day. So right when you start the game, you actually get Mario's face, and you're able to just pull around on some of his parts here and there, such as his hat, and really contort his face to a immense amount. Uh, you can press the ZR... Or the yeah the Z buttons to spawn in a bunch of his phases. I don't know why you would want to do that. Now I could have sworn there was a button to press to keep the stuff there, but I guess not. Anyway, please be saved. Oh my God, you are fucking kidding me. I forgot the I forgot the save. 
I forgot to save the final star. Oh my god. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Well, I'm going to be right back because that was really stupid of me. God damn it. <laughs> Please work. Okay. <laughs> yes, I did go and get the star and beat Bowser again, just to be absolutely certain. Because, yes, okay, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Once you collect all 120 stars and beat Bowser for the final time, when you defeat Bowser, it autosaves, so don't worry about that. Um, you are able to go to the roof of the castle. And, from doing so, you can get a few one-ups here and there, and meet an old and familiar friend. Hey. Hey. There we go. Mario! It! Yep, they didn't, didn't fix that little error there. It that really you? It had been so long since our last adventure. They told me that I might see you if I waited here, but I had just about given up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser and restored the stars to the castle? And saved the princess? I knew you can do it. Now I have a very special message for you. Thanks for playing Zip Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. We want, <clears throat> we want you to keep on playing so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy the Super Mario 64 team. And from doing all of that, from getting 120 stars, beating Bowser, you, <clears throat> from talking to Yoshi, get your star, er, your life count set to 100. And afterwards, Yoshi just goes ahead and jumps off into oblivion. Now then, that not only gives us 100 lives, but it also upgrades our triple jump. To have a little extra jump at the end. I don't know if you actually go higher with the jump, but you do. And <clears throat> from that, you also get the wing cap to fly around the castle. So yes, this has been a very fun game to do a Let's Play of. I didn't originally plan to do this. I was just going to wait until October to do my Halloween Let's Play. But considering that, you know, the All-Stars came out, you know, it like kind of a big deal for Mario's 35th anniversary. So I thought, eh, why not? We'll just do a quick Let's Play of Super Mario 64 and have some fun with it. Because why not? And the game is obviously very fun. However, it gets very, very annoying very quickly at some points. But yeah, it's still a really enjoyable game by any means whatsoever. Definitely give it a try if you haven't already given it. You have until like the end of March of next year to buy it, so like, you know, buy it. If you honestly haven't bought it by then, then I don't know what the hell you're doing because it's so easy to buy a game nowadays. It's on digital, so don't be, you know, picky if you want it physical, because if you're not going to get physical, then I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> but yeah, aside from that... This has been a lot of fun. Uh, my name has been Rolak, and I will see you guys next time for my Halloween Let's Play or whatever video may comes next because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing after this. See you guys next time.